Hey guys, I'm Ron here with Monster Gadgets and I've got an exciting product for us today. I've got the third generation Nest Smart Thermostat and I've had this for six months. As you can see, it's installed right here on the wall here. So we'll, I'll give you an in-depth review and a demo of the product, so stay tuned. All right, let's take a look at this Nest thermostat. Um, when I first took it out of the box and installed it, it took me about half an hour. Uh, it comes with all the tools that you need. It comes with a screwdriver, it comes with the plate that you see here that I put on the wall. And uh, when I took my older thermostat off, um, it actually had a, a pretty big hole in the wall. And uh, I was lucky enough to where this plate was able to cover up um, that hole. And as you can see, uh, it, it's pretty neat. I mean, it looks nice and clean. But I know on Amazon, uh, you can purchase a bigger plate if you need to. I'll leave a, a description or a link, I should say, in, in the description below. So if you wanna check that out, you can. Uh, but the standard plate that comes with it, I think it, um, it's a pretty decent size. And again, will cover up most areas um, that you're looking to, to put this in. So let's get started. Um, the display that you see right now is the main display, which I have a set to where if you pass by the thermostat, it turns on. As you can see right now, I'm not moving, so it turns on for a little while and then turns off. But the minute I move, it's gonna detect some movement and it's gonna show the current temperature inside. Um, if I come close to it, it's gonna show me the heat, what it's set to right now. Currently, it's set to 76 degrees. Um, and so that's that, that's a current setup. In order to get to the, the different menus of options, uh, you simply click on the wheel and um, from here, the first display will show the current outdoor con weather conditions, the day and time, the current indoor temperature, and the indoor humidity. So you can see all that right here. If you turn this wheel to the right, it allows us to explore the different options that are available within the menu. Let's take a look at uh, the settings tab to start off with. So once you get to the menu that you want to access, you simply just click on the wheel. All right, for the sake of um, having the actual display be seen on the camera, I kind of adjusted my settings so we can look at this in greater detail. So when you go into the settings, the first menu you'll see is fan. And um, from here, you can pick the option of having the fan come on as scheduled, or you can run the, the fan now. So we're gonna go to done. Next up, we have the lock feature. In here, you can go ahead and set a four digit passcode in case you don't want others to access it. It's great if you have kids who might be able to reach it and you wanna prevent them from changing the thermostat or accessing the settings. Next, we have the Eco tab. Uh, you have the option to set the heat and cool temperature to the desired setting. From the thermostat setting, you can go ahead and pick this as, a, as an option for your thermostat and uh, it'll be based on the settings that you set here. So we'll look at this in greater detail, but as you go into it, again, it gives you an option to set the heat to a certain temperature and same thing for the cool, but I'll explain this in a, another window coming up shortly here. Next, we have the home and away assist. In this setting, you can program it to use the eco settings, which we just discussed, but again, we'll look at it in greater detail coming up here shortly. All right, looking at the Nest Sense tab, this will give us some important information um, regarding the auto schedule. So you can do, so right now my thermostat is using the history for the last 52 days to schedule accordingly. Early on, um, this is, this comes in handy when you do have it set on manual scheduling and say for example if you wanted to be 70 degrees at 8 a.m um, instead of coming on at 8 a.m and trying to get to 70 degrees early on we'll actually turn the thermostat on or the furnace on i should say earlier so you can reach that desired temperature at that time cool or dry this is asking if should uh, nest use additional cooling to reduce heat uh, high indoor humidity so you can set that to yes or no but of course the uh, uh, more energy efficient option is no. Sunblock, if you have um, sunlight direct coming directly onto the Nest thermostat, you wanna make sure you click on this setting to yes. Uh, that way you can uh, adjust the temperature that it needs to. Obviously with sun, 
hitting it directly, um, it's going to have to compensate for it and adjust accordingly. So in my case, of course, I don't have any direct sunlight, so I have it on no. The leaf option uh, appears when you adjust the thermostat to a uh, energy saving temperature. So this you'll see in multiple different areas. Uh, and if it's, of course, energy efficient, you'll see a small leaf icon next to it. Airwave, uh, this is asking if Ness should use Airway to save energy while running air conditioned. And what this means is uh, when the air conditioner turns off, uh, it, it knows that there's the cooling or the coils, I should say, in the air conditioner are, are still cold. So if you leave this on, the fan will basically stay on to continue to cool the heat, to cool the house. So I have mine set on on. And then we'll go ahead and go to done. Next tab, we have the Nest Protect. Um, if you don't know what that is, that's basically a carbon monoxide and smoke detector by Nest. So if you have that installed, this does work directly with it. And it's asking us if you should shut off the system during a smoke alarm. So if you have the Nest Protect system and it detects smoke, the alarm goes off. If you have this set to yes, then it will turn the furnace off by itself. This also comes in handy if, when you have carbon monoxide, for example, detected. Um, you know, if, if that's detected, then it'll shut the furnace off itself. So it'll prevent any additional uh, heating from your furnace. Reminders for air filter. So every time you change your air filter, you can go ahead and set it on here. And when it's time to uh, change this, the filter again, it'll remind you for that. Brightness, I have mine set to medium. And quite honestly, I think that's more than enough. I mean, it's the text and everything is pretty crisp, um, bright enough to where you can read it. Obviously not too bright, but you can go ahead and set it to high if you like, auto or low. But I, I leave mine at medium just because I feel like that's pretty a good setting for me. Display, now this is pretty nice. You can have this set up to many different ways. Um, it asks you to do it. You can do it from far sight, which means that when you detect someone, um, it'll, you have the option of displaying these things. So again, right now I have mine set to current temperature. You can set it to display a target temperature. You can set it to display an analog clock, digital clock, or the actual weather. Um, so that's what it means by far sight. And then if you don't want to use far sight, uh, when you actually approach the thermostat, you can set it to wake up at that time, or when you actually press it, it'll wake up at that time. So I personally like to see what the current temperature is when I do pass by. So that's what I have mine set to. Next setting is the click sound setting. So if you hear this click, that's basically what it is. I have mine on on. Next, it's gonna ask you if you wanna use Fahrenheit or Celsius. Of course, since I'm in the US and we use Fahrenheit, that's what I have mine set to. And here, it's gonna ask us where I have the thermostat installed. I have mine installed in the hallway. So that's what I have, but of course you can pick um, different options here. I guess, I don't know why someone would have their thermostat installed in the backyard, but maybe people do, I don't know. Um, basement, bedroom, den, dining room, you get the idea. But um, since mine's in the hallway, that's what I have mine set to. Next is the network setting to hook it up to your Wi-Fi. Nest account, um, location, I'm just going through that so, because there's some private information on there. Language, of course, English, equipment, it's gonna tell you the actual setup that you currently have, um, the way that it's wired, which is kind of nice. Nest Pro is for authorized dealers. There's really nothing you can do as a consumer in here. Technical info, if you wanna get uh, some technical info on the power, it gives you all the technical information there. Network might come in handy, as you can see uh, on here, it actually does tell you the signal strength. Um, so if you have it installed far away from your router, then this might be something you want to look at to make sure that you have a pretty strong signal strength. So it gives you other options to go into, but we're going to go ahead and skip those. Legal info, of course, this is all the fun legal stuff from NAS that you agree to. And then you can have a reset option to reset it to the default factory setting. So the next option we have here is our scheduler. So once you go in here, 
Mine is going to be the same all the way across and you're probably wondering why do I need a smart thermostat if I have mine set to a certain temperature all the time. So this actually works in two different ways. So someone's always home um, when I'm not. So we have it set to one temperature where it's a constant temperature all the time when that person's home. So because it's smart, it knows that someone's home, it leaves it at that temperature. If I was to go somewhere else, like for example, if I go on vacation um, and no one's home, then it'll adjust the temperature by itself. Um, but as you can see, I have mine set to the same temperature throughout the day. Um, so it doesn't really change because someone is home throughout the day. But if they weren't, then you can set it to automatically, it'll detect that no one's home and it'll go into the settings that I have put in for away settings and it'll make sure it maintains that minimum temperature. If you wanna do it manually, you can also go in and do it manually. Basically, you would go on whatever day, time, you click on it and you can change the temperature to up and down and uh, set it up for a certain time during the day or have it set to uh, the same temperature all day. So after the scheduler, we have our uh, energy tab, which tells you how much um, time the furnace was on. So yesterday was Saturday. It was on for six and a half or six and a quarter hours, I should say. And as you can see, that leaf is there, which means it was um, energy efficient. You can scroll through it and um, it'll tell you for, a, I believe, a week back. So Thursday, January 19th, all the way to yesterday, which was Saturday, January 28th. If you click on one of those days, it'll actually tell you what times the furnaces came on and the amount of time that it was off. So if you want to look at that, you, you can. Let's go back into our next option. Here's our fan option, uh, which again, schedule or run for now. Oops. And then here is our thermostat option. This is probably the most important option that's on here. So when you go in here, you can set it to heat, you can set it to cool, you can set it to both heat and cool, and you can set the temperature to whatever it might, you want to set it to. So if you want the heat to come on when it hits uh, a certain temperature, then the heat will come on to maintain the temperature. Same thing goes to cool. If you want to cool to a certain temperature, you can set it to cool to a certain temperature. And then of course, will, the AC will come on to cool to whatever temperature you set. The eco mode is what we I referred to earlier. So when you go in here, it's gonna go within the within the temperature that we had set in the eco area earlier. So this is set to 70 degrees minimum, 80 degrees at the highest, and it's gonna maintain that temperature. So let me go back here and set it back to heat. And uh, that's about it as far as the settings go. The most, I mean, outside of the settings themselves, um, you can of course go into here, which is your main display, and you can change the temperature if you want from here. As you can see, if you go lower, you get the that leaf in the bottom showing you that it's more energy efficient. Um, personally, I like to keep it toasty, so I like to keep it between 75, 76 degrees. Right now, it's showing a 78 because it did some cooking, the oven was on, the house got a little warmer, um, so that's why it's a little warmer here, but I like to keep it at 76 in the winter. So next, we'll take a look at the app, the Nest app, and what we can do in the settings there. All right, next, we'll look at the Nest app. Um, so I basically have the app downloaded. I do have uh, the Nest cams as well as the Nest Protect uh, that I talked about earlier. So because I have the Nest cams on, right now my cameras are on, and I'm, I don't wanna show, of course, where those cameras are for security reasons, but I basically went into the thermostat here, and you have the same option like you do on the thermostat. You can adjust it here to reflect a certain temperature. So if you wanna move it up, you can move it up, and it's gonna set it to that. As you can see, a little bit of delay, but it does set it. If you wanna move it down, you can move it down, and it'll set the temperature to that on your thermostat as well. If you look at the bottom here, we have the same option as far as heat, fan, schedule, and history. Um, so if you wanna take a look at that, we can. Same option, heat, cool, heat, heat plus cool, uh, eco mode or off. It's gonna give you the same option for the fan. Different layout, but same thing for the scheduler. 
and then on the history. So this gives it, I guess, a little bit more user-friendly look to it. Um, on the app here itself, it does give you an option to click on like the weather here, and it's going to tell you. If you don't, know if you guys can see that, um, this day's weather caused energy usage above normal average weekly. So it gives it gives you a reason why there were certain above average uses or whatnot. So a little bit more detailed in the actual thermostat. So make sure you check out the app, which of course you can also use to remotely control as well. So I actually went to off. We don't want to go to off. We want to go to our heat option. So there you go, just like that. You can go into your settings here. Um, it's going to tell you where it's located in the hallway. Home away assist is on. Um, the eco temperature, which we had set, I got minus 70 and 84 degrees. Again, same options that are in the thermostat you have access to here through the app. So when you do go into, I'm going to kind of step away here. Um, and if you look at just this part here in the app itself, when you click on home or it's going to give you an option to go to home and away, you can set it to away. And of course it'll know that you're not there and it'll go into the more energy efficient mode there. All right. So that's it for the app. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video. Hopefully you found that to be informative. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the, in the comment section below. I'd be happy to get back to you. If you want me to review the Nest uh, Protect as well as the Nest Cams, let me know. I'd be happy to do that as well. And uh, if you haven't already, please um, give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And of course, subscribe to my channel for any upcoming videos as well. Check out my Twitter and Instagram. And uh, I do want to just give a special th shout out to all the new followers that I've had over the last few weeks. I appreciate the love. And again, if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel for my upcoming video. Thanks so much for watching.